We are at Grandview Terrace Apartments in Hickory. Um, we're gonna go around. Uh, first of all, there's some Bradford pairs right here in the front that uh, block in. There's a street light right here. Uh, none of that light can get into this parking area, so we're gonna cut them down low enough for the, all that light to get in here. It's blocking the sidewalks, blocking the parking. These Bradford pears, you can cut down to a stob anyway and they'll grow back, so we're gonna cut them real, real low. Uh, we got a lot of maples over here. On residential prop properties, uh, insurance companies will drop you if this vegetation, these limbs and stuff are touching your house, but on commercial properties especially, they won't carry your insurance. We've got Leland cypresses right here growing uh, into the gutters, filling the gutters up. We're gonna cut them all the way down, take them out. Uh, push all this stuff back. Here's another Bradford pear we're gonna trim way back. We're not doing anything with bushes. We'll let the landscapers do that. But uh, all these maples here that are growing in, touching the roof line, filling those gutters full of leaves. If you look, you can see where these trees were trimmed before. We're gonna go back and trim them back there. Um, this isn't proper pruning. It's not, it's really just topping the tree out. Um, and we'll get a lot of grief from arborists about it, but ultimately that's what the customer wants. It's gonna, what's gonna work for their property. We try to proper prune where we can, but uh, that's not what everyone wants. So we, we do what the customer wants because at the end of the day, that's who's paying us, not the ISA. So uh, we'll come back here. I'm gonna show you guys on the back side of this property, uh, some more that we're cutting out. Coming over here to this side of the property, uh, some of these Leland cypresses are growing into the parking lot, so we're just gonna uplift the lower section of those instead of just cutting the whole uh, side of the tree, side trimming it. Um, and then we're gonna start right back here on this side where they're starting to grow into the parking lot. We wanna side cut all that, get all that away from the parking lot so the grass guys can just come through here and maintain underneath of it and keep that all cut. And everyone can still park right here. As you see, no one's parking over here because they don't want these trees over top of their cars. Uh, we're going to follow that around all the way down the side and all the way around the back of this building because as we walk back here, you'll see um, there's not only uh, vegetation growing into the building, but there's a lot of overgrowth that's growing over top of it. Uh, if you get a side shot down here, you can see where all this stuff is just starting to grow out and hang over top of it. So we're literally just going to come down. There's an old Leland Cypress line right through here. We're going to remove them and just cut everything straight up from there. Um, bring a mini excavator out. We're going to grub all this ivy off the ground uh, so when these grass guys come, they can easily just mow all this stuff, keep it all cut back. And um, really a lot of this overgrowth is because the current lawn guys that they were using weren't keeping this stuff cut back like they needed to. They let it kept encroaching and encroaching and encroaching and now they got this little bitty strip which gets even smaller coming around the back of here. So as you can see, like perfect example right here, a little real small tree fell over right there and instead of the grass guys doing what they should have done and moving that out of the way they just started cutting around it well everything above it has now grown out to that area and look you can barely walk between that vegetation and the, the porch now so you know if you got commercial properties got apartments it's really important to get these grass guys to keep all this stuff cut back if not you're gonna have to pay someone like me a bunch of money to come in and cut all this stuff back which you'll have to do you know every 10 years or so, but this is gonna have to be done every three or four years if these guys don't keep this stuff cut. So again, you can see the Leland Cypress line all the way down through here, the old, old row of hedges that they had planted. We're gonna cut all that out, go right behind it, cut everything from there all the way back. And then any mature trees that are above it, like all these oaks right here, we'll go up, side trim all that. Again, not proper pruning. Uh, so on our social medias, everyone's gonna run their mouth about that's not the right way to cut it but for this specific property it is the right way that's what they want that's what they need that's what their insurance companies are going to want to see um, so that's what we're going to do um, all this stuff we're going to be able to just chip right back into the woods that ivy will pull it all up push it back into the woods and as long as the grass guys will keep up keep all this stuff cut no problem of it coming back uh, if they let it keep encroaching then they're going to be right back here where there's less than two feet between the vegetation and the house. You can see right here is broken Leland. Again, you can see where the grass guys started cutting around it instead of their old cut line back in there where they should have just kept cutting. Would have took five minutes for them to stop and get off the mower and just push that back. I'm sure the property owner would have been happy to pay another couple bucks to do that, but instead they won't get off the mower, they just cut around it. We got some power under here. We'll have to be careful working around. All these oaks right here, we'll climb them, side cut all that. We got one really gnarly dead one right here. 
we'll cut that thing down, get it out of the way. A little dead stub right there, we'll cut down and get out of the way. And then another, another couple of really nice white oaks right here, but they just look like absolute trash because all this vine's grown on them. So as we climb up, side trim and all that, we'll cut all the vine back off, allow them to look nice again. As long, like I said, as long as everyone keeps all this stuff pushed back, it won't grow back up and look like that no more. This is the yard. It's eight acres, goes back up over the hill. We got another section up there, but this is a stump dump. So we bring all of our vegetation debris here. Uh, we've got a tree service as well. So these are fresh wood chips here. Uh, wood chip pile here that we're actually just moving over into a bin that we're building here. We're gonna let all that compost. We'll mix some manure in it, keep turning it over and then run it through a screen for some good compost. But this is all debris that we bring in, other companies bring in. We tub grind it. And then I'll show you that we got a mulch pile down there that's almost gone now, but we tub grind it, turn it into mulch. Uh, we just started processing firewood here as well. So uh, we'll go through, pick out any good wood through here, process it into firewood. We sell a bunch of dirt out of here, but this is the site. So this is the old compost pile. I can see it's had some bigger wood and stuff mixed in with it. That's just where they throw a piece of wood or two in at the end of the day with the chip truck. But like I said, that's all being consolidated and moved over there. We'll stack that bin a little bit higher over there and keep the compost nice and tight. This is the last of our mulch pile. This mulch will end up going over into here once we tub grind all that. So we'll be able to sell mulch out of there. This is large boulder rock and then we are still setting up what will now be our wood processing bin so we gotta finish cleaning this out a little bit get our firewood in there get this all worked up scrap metal shop there but anyway that's what happens with all of our debris we try to recycle every bit of it that we can we've got some log trucks up there on the top of the hill you can see so any big wood that comes in here that we can salvage to send to the mill uh, we load out on that send that out 